People who have received SNAP benefits should be on the lookout today for a relief payment coming from the state government after hundreds of thousands of dollars of aid was stolen. Dwight's news reporter Duncan McLean is live in West Springfield. What to expect if you fell victim? Yeah, Rich Taylor, we're live in West Springfield outside of a grocery store, one of the primary places where people put these SNAP benefits to use. We're talking about them this morning because the Depart or the Bureau of Special Investigations has uncovered evidence of more than $2.7 million of public assistance fraud in just the second quarter of fiscal year 2023. $770,000 of that was SNAP fraud. Benefits sent fraudulently to people who didn't qualify for them. Now both the state and federal government are working to make sure that money gets to the people who qualified for it. These one-time retroactive replacement payments begin today, covering benefits stolen through various schemes like skimming, phishing, and other electronically based methods. This time period covers April 1st last year through September 30th next year, acknowledging that this problem will likely continue. The funding comes from a $2 million pool approved in Governor Maura Healy's supplemental budget bill. But there's also a program from the federal government covering stolen benefits from October 1st last year through September 30th next year. The state decided that they needed to expand that to cover more. If you fell victim, you should receive a text message or email at some point today over the next few days or get a notice in your DTA Connect profile near the end of the month. You'll, you'll, you are eligible for reimbursement up to the full amount that was either stolen or given fraudulently to someone else. If you don't get a message, though, and you believe you were a victim of this fraud, there is recourse you can take. I'll cover those steps on 22 News at 630. Working for you live in West Springfield, Duncan McLean, 22 News.